What's in the box? Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman here. Also subscribe to the new channel, Pew Reviews. Dan the Wolfman and Pew Reviews. What do I got in the box for the pseudo unboxing today? Why is it a pseudo unboxing? Well, it's already past my initial phases of testing and done remarkably well without a cleaning. Um, so there we go. Got the new Ruger Max 9 Pro Pocket Carry Perfected. I like it a lot better than I even thought I would. Uh, and we'll discuss why. So I got the new Ruger Max 9 Pro. I think it's a great buy for the money because it comes feature-packed fiber optic night sight. This is one of the new micro compacts. I have a very popular video on uh, the top five micro compacts before a couple new ones were released since then. And uh, now that I got this, uh, Ruger sent it out to test and evaluate, but I give you my honest opinion. I already carry this every single day as my standalone gun, the only one I got on me, or as my backup, depending on the day and what I'm doing and where I'm going. Danny Glover, don't hurt me, stop it! No, Danny Glover! Why, Danny Glover, stop it! And empty, boom. Even hit the mag release with my middle finger on the offhand one hand side. So, five rounds different hollow points, only one handed. That's also a very good sign, especially you guys, the smaller pistols you go, the smaller slide mass and all that. Really, try to function test one handed because you might do it. So, uh, fiber optic night, um, bright green, and it's also a night sight. It works great. Uh, this is a metal rear. Originally, in my review, I thought maybe it might be plastic. It is a metal rear uh, bucket. 10 plus 1 or 9, uh, 10 plus 1 or 12 plus 1. 12 plus 1 in mag here for better control if you have big hands like I do. It comes with a pinky extender for the 10 round mag. Usually, I would throw that on right away. Um, but for carry, for being discreet, for pocket carry, I have found that some places, if, whenever I can, I like having the 12 round magazine in it. And there's certain other more discreet needs uh, for pocket carry. And I do uh, leave the flat base in. Though I like having pinky, I don't like being a pinky dangler. It happens to fit particularly well in my hands to still get a good amount of leverage with a pinky wrapped underneath of it naturally. Three point two inch barrel. To me, that's a big positive because most of the competitors have a 3-inch or maybe a 3.1-inch barrel. 3.2 is going to get you better velocity and meeting uh, expansion threshold on your hollow points. Speaking of hollow points, Ruger was nice enough to send me these 124 plus PHSTs. Now, just joking. As you see here, triple, quadruple, eight times checked, empty, 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 empty chamber. So, um... Empty chamber. I'm not unloading my mags because as soon as I will plus one it up, which is there, uh, as I do always to have this, even though I'm going to be shooting some other firearms today, uh, but this will be my carry. This will be my go-to. This will be what's ready to go. It points super naturally. So that is the primary thing. It feels very good in the hand. You got texturing in the back of the sides. Uh, the front, it's good texturing. It's not too gentle, which a lot are, or it's not too aggressive, which some people have problems with. Um, I have already kind of featured it in certain videos, such as my new EDC CCW video, my ammo selection video. I featured it in that, as well as reviews on the new Tolster Contour Holster, uh, though I also showed it off here in the Tolster Oath Holster, and I also have a crossbreed holster that's very good as well for it we'll discuss those more in a second so what do i like about it it gives me 10 12 plus one or 10 plus one confidence and, and discreet carry 
It comes featured pack for the money, meaning the fiber optic and tritium front sight. It's optics ready already for a bunch of different blueprints. I would probably put the 507K Halson on it, or maybe I'd try out a Swamp Fox. Uh, I think Sentinel it is. A uh, very common uh, footprint. You can look on their website. It offers a bunch of different ones. There's another red dot that I think is worthy of checking out uh, as well. So I've even recommended it to my 77-year-old uh, friend, Slick50, because he usually carries a Glock 43. But his eyes are going, so a brighter uh, and fiber optic and night sight would really help him out, as it helps anyone out in defensive gun use. And, uh, you know, he, he's looking at a red dot. I let him shoot a red dot uh, before. He might want to get this uh, and put a red dot on it. So that's how much it's impressed me. The biggest thing that impressed me is this natural feel and pointability. So even if I draw one-handed right hand, which I would do if I'm carrying it inside the waistband, particularly 330 for comfortable discreet carry here with this cross breed holster with a nice sniper gray Kydex on the front here, but nice leather molds to your body over time will get even more comfortable, discreet carry at work. I have too much tactical muffin top for appendix for this. It keels out too much. But uh, if you're a skinny boy, you could carry this appendix or you could carry it three or 330. I like it at 330 and the grip isn't popping out because, you know, I'm a bigger guy. Being 5'11", 230-ish. Now, if I want to carry appendix, which I usually prefer, I would put it in the Tolster Excellent Oath Holster. I've reviewed a lot of Tolster holsters before. Hi. To continue for appendix, I really love the Tolster Oath Holster. Uh, but I must say most frequently it has been carried as my only weapon or my backup offside front pocket gun as I like to carry and have a muscle memory always the same place in my offside, my left side, um, offside front pocket and a DeSantis Nemesis. This happens to be size 13. I don't know if that's the right one or if there's a specific one, but it works good enough for me. Um, and I just feel very confident in this 3.2 inch barrel isn't too short. 12 plus one or 10 plus one. Again, empty chamber. You got a dingus that helps pocket carry safety. Always have a pocket holster. Okay, on a striker fired weapon, you should anyway to stop lint uh, and have a repeatable draw. Uh, if you just push on the side, it doesn't go bang, meaning it has to come in front of the dingus, just like on a lot of weapon systems, empty firearm, and boom, there and reset now just dry firing it doesn't seem like the best trigger but certainly when actually rapid firing or whatever uh, i find it just fine the reason i'm so impressed guys is without cleaning i just cleaned it last night for the first time without cleaning uh i originally put 12 uh 20 hollow points through it 20 or 22 uh three different types of hollow points 115 124 124 three different types of hollow points through it which i have on video functioned perfectly then i took it the next day to an action shoot and I did five different um, scenarios uh, a few multiple times in an action shoot. I think I've also fired it one other time off camera at least 22 rounds before I went, okay, I'm comfortable to carry it. I've been carrying it ever since now. It's been about a month, four or five weeks at this point, I think. And so I trust it. I just cleaned it for the first time last night. It was quite a bit dirty inside because it's a micro compared to, you know, a full size or compact uh, pistol. So uh, always clean and lightly oil the rails every, I would say, at least minimum three months on a pocket gun, a backup gun, a small gun. Guys, I used to carry the LCP every single day as my off, uh, offside backup and or primary in a discreet uh, you know, environment, discrete work environment type of thing. I love that it comes with a pink extender already. Not all the companies selling micros are doing that. And I think that's very bad because people don't like being a pinky dangler. So 10 plus one, 12 plus one, you can get 20% off here. I might do that. Uh, two additional 12 round or 10 round mags are $64. So 32 a pop. And if I can get 20% off, that's really not bad. It's only a... 18.4 ounce pistol. This is the pro model, no safety. Uh, the other models have an external safety, but you know, it's kind of small. Um, 
So here, let's look at the weight with fully loaded uh, 124 grain magazines over here on the right. Got one pound already, and let's add a 10 round magazine. One pound, 6.8 ounces, one pound, uh, and I, I got 7.2 earlier. So about one pound, 6.8 or seven ounces, that's just under 23 uh, total ounces. Let's put the 12 round, so 12 plus one topped off with 124 grain HST, 124 plus HST, or um, the new uh, Federal Punch, guys, did very well in Gun Sam's testing from a 3.2 inch barrel, still got 17 inches of penetration, and I think 0 0.62, 0 0.63 expansion, uh, that's excellent, that's enough to defend your life, that's what I recommend, look at my ammo selection video, look at my Tolster, um, contour to see more of the Ruger thus far before I do a full range review, but preliminary testing has been most excellent. Gets two thumbs up from the Wolf, Dan the Wolfman and Pew Reviews. I uh, haven't even put an optic on it yet. Um, you know, it, it's more a backup for me, but if I was going to carry primary uh, like appendix, it would be 12 plus one, maybe with a 507 uh, K. Uh, on it or a Swamp Fox or a Sentinel or a couple of the other brands that are pretty well uh, reviewed. But it points perfectly. Let me go into that again. If I just grab it with my weak side hand, my left hand, uh, and just one hand shoot it, it's on point, man. It points perfectly naturally. Same thing right hand or same thing offside double handed. It points very naturally and I've turned the lights off and just drawn it and pointed and the front sight, the night sight glows better than I thought it would and it's already aligned. It's not like hidden because it's behind one of the blades of the rear sight. If I just draw it with the lights out in a room, you know, um, it is already aligned and I've handed it to an experienced guy, former Marine. Same thing. I handed it to a very inexperienced woman that carries a uh, Ruger uh, 357 Magnum LCR uh, before and it pointed very good and she liked the weight and everything. And 12 plus one, you know, 12 plus one or 10 plus one, nine millimeter does beat five rounds of 38 it, ballistically. It really does. It gives you more chances. And, uh, you know, in the cases, there's quite a few cases of Tom Gibbons instructor having to fire between 8 and 11 shots. And one case that was 12 shots. So keep that in mind. The micro compacts are awesome. Ruger is awesome. The customer service is legendary if you ever have a problem. Uh, Crossbreed is very, very comfortable for like work carry. Uh, pocket carry also very comfortable. Gives you a lot of advantages. And uh, for appendix, I really like uh, tolster so keep that in mind the ruger max 9 pro and i probably will do an entire full range review we'll see if i mix in a little bit of the uh, action shooting or hollow point footage here or just watch the full review give me a thumbs up give me a comment do you like the ruger max 9 pro have you used other uh, micro compacts in the past i do like the dingus for pocket carry better than the original micro compact that doesn't have a dingus i think that makes it a little extra safer for pocket carry um, the sights are great. The features for the money are really phenomenal because it comes with a 10 and a 12 and a pinky extender and a fiber optic front night sight and it's optics ready out of the bat. What more could you really ask for a four to $500 gun? Um, you know, I thought I, I like it a lot better than I thought. And that's why I'll be keeping it and carrying it and everything like that. So, guys, get in the comments. Let me know what you think of the Ruger Max 9 Pro and the accessories I've showed you. And hope this helps you out. And I'm Dan the Wolfman and Pew Reviews signing out. I'll catch you on the flip side. Thanks, everybody.